Alright, I just got back from jogging this morning and my my family friend Zach Julian brought me a nice partridge he shot in his yard. And uh, most hunters they just grab this part, rip out the breast and uh, you know, and eat the breast. But there's you're wasting the whole part of the bird. And when I was up north, Quebec uh, past two hours past Manawaki up in the Kabunga Reservoir with the Algonquins in the bush. I had the uh, pleasure of shooting my own partridge for the first time in my life up there and the Algonquins showed me how to prepare it and how to make a baby rattle with a partridge. So hopefully I can do this right, remember it right and do it. Uh, so what they told me to do anyway is you start with the legs where it bends here, you cut where it bends. So you cut it right there. Cut the legs out. One leg, cut it right where it bends. Cut the knife. knife. And you do it the same thing with the wings. See where it bends here? Right here. See where it bends inside right here? That's where you cut it. I'm going to try not to cut that. Okay, one wing. And then you cut it at the bend in here. Right there. Try to cut my fingers. Two wings. Then you got the tail feather here where the arse is. And if you feel here, there's a little bump. So what you do is you rip this off a bit and you cut the arse out. Now the gizzards, the gizzards should come right out. So you cut this part. I didn't cut it enough. Cut the arse off and the gizzard should come right out. Just like that. See? It kind of stinks a bit. Now I feed I feel the, the feed pouch in uh -huh. there. Alright. Then you cut the head. You come uh, my wife's kind of gagging here. You cut the head where right where the neck joins. Right here. And that's that for the head. Then everything should peel right off because it's still warm. The, the skin on the partridge is so soft. It should peel right off. Now, so he still has feed in his bag. See how that's coming out nice? You just peel it right off. See how that's coming out? See the legs there? See all the meat on the legs people waste when they just take the take the breast off and throw the rest away? It's a freaking waste. That's what the Algonquins told me. And I believe them because it's, it's, it's even almost like skinning a rabbit. It kind of looks like one too. So you get that off. Right? And you get the top legs. See where I cut them there? Right there. Right there. So, gizzards are all out. See, I feel. There's the gizzards, and the heart, and all that crap. You can actually eat this stuff. Kidneys and all that beautiful stuff. You get that out of the bird. Now, there should be a feed bag. There should be a feed bag right in here. If not, I missed it.
get it. No. Nope. I guess I, uh, yeah, I think I ruined the feed bag. Oh, is it in here somewhere? And the gizzards, you see this? See any feed bag in there? Just a lot of, hmm, that's weird. Got a big heart, huh? Lungs. So, I guess I'm not making a baby rattle. Come on over here, we'll wash it up. Wash the sucker up. So see, if I would have just ripped the breast off, I wouldn't have all this leg meat here and the bones to make gravy and, right? Kind of looks like a rabbit, but smaller. See all this meat here on the legs? It's not much, but uh, when you're stuck in the woods, up in the bush, and it's been a week since you've seen a piece of meat, Trust me, you're going to clean it this way and you're going to eat every piece of this goddamn bird because it's the first one you've seen in a week. It's too bad I couldn't make that, uh, that feed bag. Clean up the inside like that. Get all the fur off, or I mean feathers. Now let's bring it back to the table. If I remember correctly, you grab a good knife. I'm just gonna rinse my knife. And what you do before you cook it, you cut it right in the middle here. Right in the middle. And you crack the bone. Just like a fucking chicken. See that? Now you open the bird up like this. And what you do, and I'll show you after, you cook them like this in a pan in gravy. You cook them this way, turn them around, cook them this way, and you got a whole friggin' stew of partridge. Thank you very much.